We get a lot of samples here at Goody Reader. More so than we know what to do with. At the end of each video, we'll give the item away. This is Unboxing ePaper. Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of Unboxing ePaper. The mic's right here, episode 5. That's awesome. That's pretty cool because, um, yeah, basically what we've done is, if you don't know from the intro, or you skipped it, uh, we unbox something that we don't know what it is for the most part, and then we give it away at the end. This time, I kind of do know what it is. So, hit me with it. Oh, right, yeah, it's Sunday and no one's here. So I put it right here. Here it is. Okay, I kind of know what this one is this time, and no one's here to help me today because I uh, came into the office to do some work, and everyone is off. But this is the WaveShare. I also kind of opened it this time. Why? Because the shipping label was on the WaveShare box, so I'm like, is it actually WaveShare, or is it something just in a WaveShare box? Because we don't really deal with WaveShare for the most part. But they reached out to us and they said, hey, do you want to uh, do this on your unboxing thing? And I was like, oh, wow, that's kind of cool. You guys... I didn't know people were sending us stuff for this specifically. Usually we get stuff in and then we do it because we just have the stuff. I don't know if it's one of those SES and Magatag-esque things, but there's only one way to find out and that's heading over to the desk and figuring it out together. And we're back at the desk, everyone. Here's the wave share. Here's the box. We're going to crack this open. This is the device itself. No, it's not. That's just the case. I'm learning things as we go here. This is a wiring harness, and we have some miscellaneous hardware here. Some bolts, some stands, some spacers, and some nuts. And there's nothing else in the box. No directions of any kind, so we'll put that off to the side. This is probably the panel itself. This is the e-ink relevant portion of this whole thing. Yes, it is, and a status, a status, a static proof bag. This is the 2.13 inch e-paper hat. You guys don't know what hat is? Come on, man. How can you not know? I have no idea. So let's open up this as well. This looks like to be the case that is accompanying it, and that looks like it's a double-sided tape. You go ahead and take that off. You stick it on there when you're ready to go. You put that in the housing. You put that on top. Everything's ready to become your... The world is your oyster, basically, because this is going to be able to program into whatever you want. What this is, I know a very fundamental level, and don't worry, you're getting this for free. So what this is, is this is just a generic panel. So it's for testing purposes. You can do anything you want on here. You can make a grid, a two by three grid of uh, the weather, of what the weather's gonna be like. You can put an image of there. You can make this into a smartwatch like the Watchy company. You can put a clock and just put it on there and away it goes, that's it. So you connect this wiring harness to here and then you connect this to a hub of some sort. There's lots of hubs that allow you to have a user interface, they allow you to connect via USB, connect up to your computer, you can make this into anything you want. This just so happens to be 2.13 inches because you can buy four inches, you can buy square, you can buy circular, you can buy anything. We're not gonna take this off because this is going straight to you guys, we're gonna leave this absolutely mint. Now, the bad news is that we can't do anything here for you. <laughs> There's nothing we can do on this because we don't have the facility to do actual testing and make a video of the whole testing, and you guys don't want to see that, basically. The only reason we're kind of doing this is because Waveshare was very nice enough to show us their product, and this is going to be transmitted, transferred directly to you guys for absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything. We're going to take the 50 comments, and we'll just give this to you guys for free. In terms of the looks, it's not very beautiful as is. It's exposed circuit, exposed PCB printed circuit board, and a weird wiring loom that you don't know what goes into unless you really know what you're doing. And unless you have a case, it doesn't have any sort of aesthetic appeal, so it gets a 3 out of 5. In terms of use, if you know what you're doing, this is absolutely 100% completely customizable from head to toe. All this is is a display, so it really is just what you make of it, and the levels of customization are are limitless so it gets a 5 out of 5. In terms of cost it's actually not that cheap in fact the 2.13 inch panel will run you about $33 and the case itself about 19 so it's not exactly the cheapest piece of e-paper technology in the world so it gets a 2 out of 5. Overall Raspberry Pi and dev kits are on the up and up and they're becoming more and more popular every day. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Unboxing ePaper, where we hope that every single time it's going to be an ePaper product. I hope we don't run out. I don't think we will. we got a lot of stuff. 
Uh, yeah, so here it is guys. That's yours. It's yours absolutely for free. As per usual, we have expanded and extended the amount of comments. So it isn't the first 20, it's the first 50 people that comment have the chance to get this. You don't have to do anything weird. You don't have to go to Patreon. You don't have to go to YouTube and become a member. That's it. It's just yours. It requires a lot of people for the most part. No one's here today to get this thing going, but thank you guys so much for supporting it. And until the next one, um, take care and have a good day and be nice and don't be uh, mean to each other and keep getting some amazing e-paper stuff from us. Thanks, guys.